Hi, I'm Curtis. I'm one of the lecturers here at East Sussex College of, on T-Levels. T-Levels is a new course we're running. Um, I primarily cover programming and games development. Um, regards to programming, um, we teach uh, a plethora of different languages from C Sharp to C++, um, SQL and also other languages like Python as well. Um, I primarily teach, as I said before, games development, um, that is my speciality and one of the great things about the course is we have access to software such as Unity, Visual Studio um, and other IDEs uh, for web de uh, development etc as well. Um, so uh, in regards to games development um, and Unity, uh, we go through the entire game development pipeline um, from making a, from designing in pre-production all the way to um, development and also uh, release. So um, that all gets uploaded to a, a website where people can play the games on WebGL. It's a really enjoyable course. We have access to some really awesome software. Um, you're learning some state-of-the-art programming languages and also using industry standard software such as Unity and also the Autodesk suite uh, Maya and Mudbox. It's a, it's a pleasure working here, um, we've got great sized rooms, um, fantastic equipment, uh, all our PCs are equipped with 1050 Ti graphics cards, um, we've also got a couple of gaming PCs that we use and access to hardware such as virtual reality, we've got the Vive, uh, we've got six mixed reality uh, Windows headsets that we use for development. Um, that's awesome because we're using not just um, old technology but current technology and also future technology, um, especially for virtual reality and augmented reality development, which is what we look at on the course as well. So if you're looking to go into virtual reality development or augmented reality development, then the T-Level really is the course for you. Um, the T-Level, um, like the newer b -techs, does uh, do have an exam um, and if you're going into higher education universities it's always um, a good idea to get yourself prepped for uh, programming and uh, other aspects of IT, whether it's network, cyber security, um, working in the IT industry, you're going to come across situations where you're going to have to take part in exams, um, be put on, on the spot with questioning, um, all these creative interview techniques that you'll learn. Uh, in terms of student success stories, we've had students go to universities um, studying cyber security, studying uh, digital games production development. Um, we've also had students that have gone into sort of web development um, and uh, doing some sort of freelance web development work. You're going to leave the course essentially with um, the knowledge and the toolkit to be able to jump straight into a full-time job or also go to higher education. Um, there's employers out there looking for competent teens who are good at programming, um, can take part in computational thinking, work well in teams and scrums um, and that is a huge aspect to the course, being able to problem solve, um, create algorithms, um, utilise pattern recognition and abstraction to be able to solve these problems and create um, new software for the next generation. Um, also on the course I um, teach Android Studio um, which is all about mobile app development. Um, we do that in a language called Java. Um, I actually teach that all the way up to level 6 and that's something I'm going to plug here. We also deliver all the way up to level 6 which is a Bachelor of Science degree. Um, so we have internal progression here at the college straight after the T level. If you do want to work up to a degree, um, that is an extra three years on top. So that's uh, always worth considering if that's something you want to do. Um, so we also have students that have progressed onto our HE courses successfully over the years and we have a huge um, pass rate with students actually leaving Bachelor of Science for first degrees on a regular basis. Um, it's fantastic to get that student teacher time, um, small compact classrooms, um, being able to get access to software quickly and efficiently and have access to the building is also a massive plus. Um, so it's, it's good for the students and we've had students turn around and say, you know, they've really appreciated the fact that they've got the contact hours with us and we're able to be there and to give the feedback as soon as we can. Um, and give them the support they need. It's really important, I can't emphasise this enough, um, how important maths and English is. Um, you really need to work hard at school to get your maths and English, especially for programming. Um, you know, the, the type of maths we're going to be doing is um, up to A-level mathematics, um, looking at algorithms, being able to solve those problems. Um, however, 
we do have a system in place here at the college is if you don't quite meet those criteria we run a level one and two IT course here so that is entry level requirements for the T level it's an extra year on top of um, on top of the T level to be able to press onto it um, so uh, we'll be able to put you in the right place during our six week right choice period um, so we can get a feel for how uh, well you do with PCs um, how much experience you have with building them, um, the hardware, the software, how competent you are jumping straight into difficult software and being, being able to write the code. Um, we, can, we can put you in the right place. We are super flexible, which is really nice. Um, the T level is a fantastic opportunity to any student. Um, there's a fantastic cross between preparing yourself for quite difficult exams, um, being able to jump into a, a business environment, um, and also the work experience that's needed to get the qualification and work experience is a huge factor for the course. We want to make sure you're getting in the door um, at job placements and you're getting your experience with employers and it will give you a better idea of how the IT industry works within the industry and not just in the classroom.